So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about equations in quadratic form. In our previous lesson, a quadratic equation in a standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where the value of a, b, and c are real numbers, and a should not be equal to 0. So what if we need to solve the complex quadratic equation? Example, x to the fourth minus 7x squared plus 12 equals 0. And then the second one, to the quantity x to the fourth minus 6x squared minus 2x squared plus 12x minus 35 equals 0. So let us try to solve this equation. What are the different steps in solving complex quadratic equation? First, the equation can be written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Second step, make it simple by replacing a new variable for an expression in the equation. Third step, you must simplify first the expression on both sides. In example number 1, x to the 4th minus 7x squared plus 12 equals 0. So let us transform these equations to quadratic and then let us solve. First, we need to identify the common na makikita natin between x to the 4th and then x squared. So ang common, para matransform natin to quadratic, that is x squared. So that becomes x squared and then square. x squared times x squared, that is x to the 4th. Copy negative 7, let us write the parenthesis of x squared, and then copy 12 equals 0. Kaya natin nilagyan ng parenthesis yung x squared para makita natin that we transform this equation to quadratic. So let x squared is equal to m or any letter you want from a to z except x. So let us replace the value of x squared by m. So m squared minus 7m plus 12 equals 0. Afterwards, let us identify a, b, and c. So a, that is 1, b, that is negative 7, and then c, that is equal to positive 12. Think a factor that the sum is negative 7 and then the product is 12. If we choose the product of, that is 12, example, that is 6 times 2. 6 times 2, the product is 12, correct? But then if we add, that is 8, so that is incorrect. Another, think a factor of 12, so 4 times 3. 4 times 3, correct, 12, but then if we add, the answer is 7. So it must be negative 4 and then negative 3. If we check, negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12, and if we add, that is negative 7. So it means the factor of x squared minus 7m plus 12 equals 0, that is m minus 3, and then m minus 4. So, afterwards, paghiwalay natin yung dalawa para masolve natin yung value ni m. So, that becomes m minus 3, it is equal to 0. So, it means m, negative 3, going to the right side, that becomes positive 3. Second one, m minus 4, that is equal to 0. Let us solve for m. So, m bring down, negative 4, going to the right, that becomes positive 4. So, we have the value of m now, that is 3, and then 4. Let us continue to solve for the value of x. So let x squared, that is equal to m. So it means that becomes x squared, it is equal to the value of m, that is equal to 3. So x squared, that is equal to 3. So let us write the square root on both sides, and then positive, negative. Cancel 2 and then the radical sign, that becomes x. Copy positive, negative, square root of 3. There is no exact square root of 3. Afterwards, let us proceed to the second one, m that is equal to 4. So it means x squared is equal to 4. Write the square root on both sides, positive and then negative. Cancel 2 and then the radical sign that becomes x. It is equal to square root of 4 that is equal to 2. So positive, negative, 2. So the answer is square root of 3, negative square root of 3, 
and then positive 2 and negative 2. So we have four answers because our highest exponent is 4. How about this equation? The quantity x to the fourth minus 6x squared minus 2x squared plus 12x minus 35 equals 0. Let us transform the equations to quadratic and then let us try to solve. So let us see ano bang common na makikita natin dito tsaka dito para masimplify natin. So that is x to the fourth minus 6x squared. So let us regroup negative 2x squared plus 12x. Negative 2x squared ang common tsaka 12 that is negative 2. So negative 2x squared divided by negative 2 is x squared. Positive 12x divided by negative 2 is negative 6x and then copy negative 35 equals 0. So let us replace or simplify. So let x squared minus 6x to m. So any letter you want except x. So that becomes m squared minus 2m minus 35 equals 0. Afterwards, let us identify a, that is 1, b, that is negative 2, and then c, that is negative 35. So let us get the sum. The sum that is negative 2 and then the product is negative 35. Think of factor that the product is negative 35 and then the sum that is negative 2. If we choose 7 times 5, that is incorrect because uh, the product is negative 35. So kung nilagyan natin ng negative, negative 7 times 5, that is negative 35, correct? Negative 7, if you try to check, negative 7 plus 5, that is negative so it means the factor of m squared minus 2m minus 35 are m minus 7 times m plus 5 equal 0. So afterwards, paghiwalayin na yun dolawa para makuha natin yung value ni m. First, m minus 7 equal 0. So it means m that is equal to 7. Second one, m plus 5 equal 0. So second value, m that is equal to negative 5. So we have the 2m now that is 7 and negative 5. Let m, it is equal to x squared minus 6x, or x squared minus 6x is equal to m. Let us replace m by 7. So x squared minus 6x is equal to 7. So let us proceed all the value to the left side. So that becomes x squared bring down, negative 6x bring down, and then positive 7, that is negative 7. Think of factor that the sum is negative 6, and then the product is negative 7. So that is negative 7 times 1. So correct. So that becomes x minus 7 times x plus 1 equal 0. So it means the two values of x, x minus 7 equals 0. So x negative 7 going to the right side, that becomes positive 7. Second one, x plus 1 equals 0. So it means x positive 1 going to the right side, that becomes negative 1. So we have the first two values, that is 7 and negative 1. How about if m, that is equal to negative 5? Let us continue to solve. So x squared minus 6x, it is equal to negative 5. Negative 5 going to the left side, that becomes positive 5. So it means x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals 0. Think a factor that the sum is negative 6 and then the product that is 5. If we choose 5 times 1, 5 times 1 is 5, correct? But then if we add 5 plus 1, that is 6, that is incorrect. So let us try the negative. Negative Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5, correct? And then negative 5 plus negative 1, that is negative 6. So the factors are x minus 5 times x minus 1 equal 0. So let us try to solve for the value of x. First, x minus 5, that is equal to 0. So it means x, that becomes positive 5. Change the sign. Second one, x minus 1 is equal to 0. So it means negative 1 going to the right side. x, that is equal to 1. So we have the answer that is 7, negative 1, positive 5, and then positive 1. Instruction, transform the following equations to quadratic and solve. Provide your answers in the comment section.
Enjoy learning! Mathematics! I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much!